After a week and a half back in session, two local school districts are now making changes to their in-person learning style. One is scaling back on reopening the classrooms, while another is bringing their kids back a week early. Garrity on News Channel 13's Crystal Story joins us live with that update. Crystal. Heather, the halls here at Fountain Middle School have stayed mostly empty, but after Labor Day, students will be able to return on a hybrid schedule earlier than the district anticipated. For the last six months, high school and middle schools have mostly sat empty. But after Labor Day, District 8 says they're bringing kids back. We will implement a hybrid schedule, so we're not bringing all of them back into a building all at once that Tuesday. It's one week earlier than expected, but their success with elementary students returning in person and decreasing COVID-19 cases in El Paso County showed district officials it's possible. What happens in our schools is going to be reflective of our community, so if the community can stay healthy and keep wearing masks and, and keep incident, incident rates down, then you'll see that um, you know be reflected in our schools. And Meanwhile, Harrison School District 2 is scaling back. They were one of the first to announce a cohort at Soaring Eagles Elementary School had to be quarantined. We know we're going to have cases. That's going to happen in our schools, despite how much caution we take. What we don't want is to have a spread of it. Co-superintendent John Rogerson says instead of five days a week in person, middle school and high school students will have a hybrid schedule. Two days in class and two at home. We feel very strongly that our students need to have some in-person contact. They need that. We still offer an e-learning option for them, so if those families have concerns, they can have that. Now, D2 says 30% of their K through 5 students opted for online learning this year. The rest are in person, and they expect similar numbers for middle and high schools. Live in Fountain, Crystal Story, Cardio News Channel 13.